Hello, hello. Good morning, guys. Well, I guess I should say a good afternoon. Definitely morning for me. Um, because obviously I worked last night. Um, I'm just making coffee. Gonna make some breakfast, lunch, whatever you want to call it. I just finished up cleaning the house. Is anybody else like that? I literally cannot like eat anything, like rest, settle down, anything, whatever you want to call it until like the house is clean like even if i like make dinner i'm like cleaning as i go but like i'll have dylan like dish first and i'll just like do the dishes really really quick maybe not all of them sometimes i'll like leave a pot or pan like in the sink but that's like the most um is anybody else like that so i just finished cleaning the house sutton is just now fed and hi bubba's you did spit up i thought you did and yeah so we're just having a hangout day Dylan's at drill so he's gone for the weekend which means we're doing nothing <laughs> hey, hey, yo! Damn, I'm pushing up on my hands now I'm getting too big for my own good can I have all this spit up thank go oh thanks you just roll over out of the way weekend which is really really exciting he's just right there sleeping he's so cute um i remember when we got that swing and we were like isn't it gonna be crazy when he like fills it out and he fills it out now but yeah dylan was able to actually come home this weekend which was nice so he'll be home night from like which is actually really early because it's like five o'clock so um that's like a really early one but yeah he'll be home from like five to um and then he'll leave again at like five in the morning again tomorrow um i thought that was sudden um but yeah so that's really nice he's picking up frozen pizza and salad <laughs> um so much for that diet huh guys I don't know. I've been really crappy at eating healthy because I just don't feel good. And honestly, I don't know if I'm the only person, but I do not want to even look at anything green. Like, when I don't feel good, I just want the carbs. I've been like that since I was little. I literally will be like throwing up in bed and my mom was like, can I get you anything? Like she was like, oh, I will literally go get you something whatever you want like as long as I can get something in you and I've always been a McDonald's fry kind of girl while I was sick um I remember I was like sick at 28 weeks pregnant I was like throwing up I, I was like <laughs> placed in front of the toilet all day TMI sorry but because I was throwing up all day and I was still had to bring me french fries I've always been like that so yesterday I ended up getting french fries because I need them I guess <laughs> I know you don't actually need them but I've just always been like that um and so we eat an unhealthy tonight but it's just funny because Dylan actually wanted it tonight too so what is popping out oh, here is there something in our oven no our oven's popping because I preheated it but I don't know. anyways my battery's about to die but Dylan's on his way home, which is exciting. And Sutton is sleeping, which is also exciting because he's teething. Like I've said a million times already. So he's just fussy. So sometimes it's just nice when he finally gets to take a nap. Alrighty, so we ended up filming filming this clip earlier and I don't know, I uploaded it and even on like the camera and the SD card and everything, it's like completely black, no sound, no nothing. Um, which is weird because when we were recording it, I could like see myself or we could see each other or whatever you want to say in the viewfinder and like the record button was on and it said it recorded, but yeah, so that's why this clip is going to be a little out of place and then it's going to jump, um, to us setting it up from that night. Um, so yeah, just explaining that really quick, but I wanted this in here because it was kind of vital to what we were doing um I know I was like I'll, I'll edit it we'll see how it works and it was just like confusing like honestly I didn't even really know what, what the footage was until I was like fully through it and I was like oh that's what it was 
So that's what this is. Sutton's here with me. So we ended up getting a video monitor finally for Sutton's room. It was just never vital. Sorry, this packaging is kind of broke. Um, it was never like vital because he sleeps in his bassinet right here, right next to us, and so we just never needed one. Um, but we, our goal was six months for him to be downstairs, and I just don't think we're there yet because he turned six months on Saturday. And I just don't personally feel like we're there yet. I don't think I'm there yet, more so than anything. Um, he still is waking up at 3 a.m. every single night um, just for a binky. And so, um, in the last, especially the last couple days where I was like talking about how he's been grumpy, um, he's just waking up a lot longer in the middle of the night. And so I just know personally I don't want to go downstairs at 3 a.m to soothe him and so but it was just a goal it's fine we're not there we told each other that we were like if it doesn't get there it's not that big of a deal um they say six to eight, six months to a year anyway so i'm not too worried about it but we ended up just getting one just for like nap purposes and me getting used to it and comfortability and all of the things so we got the iBaby Care monitor, um, and it kind of sounds like Apple partnered with them, so that's hence the iBaby, um, and so it's like really specifically for iPads and iPhones, but it still connects to Androids and um, PCs. Yeah, I liked that it was on my phone, so it was just like always with me. If anybody watches him, they literally just have to download the app, and I just give them a password to get in, and... So that's really nice. But the biggest, biggest thing was that it looked like the lollipop. I don't know if you guys know what the lollipop is, but it has like the camera up here and then just like a long wire kind of looking stick. It has like a outing to it, uh, but it's just wire. And um, it's like a $300 camera, but that's the one like that I was like, oh, I really want that one. I love that I can like take it anywhere. Like if I just wanted to like take it to my mom's or whoever had him like overnight, I could bring, that was a weird noise. Um, I could bring the camera with me and they can have it at their house and so that's really nice especially because I work night shift and every once in a while Dylan um, will be gone on Friday nights just for um, the military and stuff like that. So I did like that this is so transportable. Um, some of the like the key things on it, um, zoom, infrared night vision, a split screen for if we get different monitors we can um, just use the app for all all the babies all the 20 babies that I want <laughs> um wireless speakers with soothing and relaxing sounds um I show you in the video in just a little bit about all of the sounds but they even like read him stories um their educational stories it says uh, over a thousand songs there's white noise there's different forms of white noise because Sutton's more of the like constant white noise he's not like the waves crashing kind of white noise if that makes any sense but they have all of the different kinds um like I said, it connects anywhere, so like in this one, she just has it like wound up and then sitting on her nightstand. I don't know if there's any other pictures. There's an, Oh, this one, um, it's like on that lamp, and then you can just mount it straight onto the wall if you want to. There was a mount. Initially, in the video that you guys see, we do mount it to our wall. Well, it ended up falling off like the day after. It was like the sticker that they provided in this. Maybe we just did something wrong. I don't know. Um, but we ended up connecting it to his window seal. Um, and I'll show you guys that in just a little bit, but, um, and it's working a lot better. I like that at angle better. And I like that the cords out of the way, cause I know that once he starts moving and the shaking, that cord's going to be pulled down anyway. So I like that that's out of the way now. Um, two way audio so I can hear him and he can hear me. Um, Temperature and humidity sensors. Um, I actually really didn't think I wanted this until we moved into this place. I think I've told you guys before, his room is freezing. Like, it is so, so, so cold. We just got our um, furnace fixed the other day, and it has felt a lot better in there, but it still feels really cold. But every time I read the monitor, it says it's 72. And that thing's placed right next to the window where we feel that there might be a draft coming, and um, it still says 72. So... That makes me feel a little bit better. Hopefully it's reading correctly. Um, he wears footies and a sleep sack anyways to bed, so I know he'll be warm, but I like knowing that the temperature's okay in there. Um, I can get motion and sound alerts straight to my phone. Um, I have like that and temperature alerts, so if it did for some reason drop in the middle of the night, I would know that. Yeah, that's basically it, but I am so happy about this thing. Like, it was only 70 bucks, which is pretty cheap for a monitor especially considering the one that we like wanted I don't think we would have ever gone through with buying it but the one we wanted was like $300 so we really like that um 
I just like all of the features that it has. We've practiced with it a couple of times for naps and um, I've really enjoyed it. I can log in at work. So if I'm working the night shift and I just want to check in on him, I totally can. I don't think I probably will. But I'll get still alerts at work too. Like um, I got an alert one time and it was just like a sound one. And to clear it, you have to go onto the app and it was literally just like someone was changing his diaper. Dylan was changing, not someone. Dylan was in there changing his diaper. But um, it just like sent me an alert still. So that's really, really cool. I like that I can always be connected to you. But I wanted to show you guys really, really quick. I'm not going to go into Sutton's room because you guys know the lighting is terrible in there. But it's the same setup in our room. So um, we just have it connected to this piece right here. We just wrapped it around it because um, it comes out a little bit from the wall. And then we have it pointing down at his um, crib and it looks... Perfect. I can see him perfectly but yeah we just wrapped it around that and then the cord like kind of dangles down behind a jumper toy that he has and he can't even reach it from the jumper toy so key there so now on to us setting it up all right guys it is done took a minute to set up had to connect to the Wi-Fi but it's good to go so mount it nice. just in the wall there you can take pictures you can talk through it play music there's a whole list this is a sweet this is a sweet thing. Alrighty, for so for some random reason the thing got shut off. But as you can see, I am right here. The thing is right there, so it's pointed down at his uh, crib. And you can see us. <clears throat> but anyways, so you have the temperature of his room, which is 72.3, the humidity, which is 36.3, and our Wi-Fi connection is excellent. And then down here, I can record, oh, right here, actually. Right here, I can take pictures of, like, I don't know. He's just so dang cute. You gotta take so many pictures. There you go. This one, I can listen to him. Um, you obviously would want to have that on for, like, nighttime, so when he wakes you up. And then right here, I can talk to him. This one, you can record. And this is music, where there's literally, like, I'm not kidding. So many playlists. Like, this is for all the different ages. There's a ton of songs and lullabies and just all the jazz. This is just like white noise for 12 hours. <laughs> but yeah, it's like the coolest stinking thing. The only thing I'm nervous about is like when you have a monitor, obviously it sits there and like really notifies you when he's crying and stuff. So we'll have to see. If this would notify me, hi, Dill. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> um, we'll have to see like how this would work. I obviously would probably try this out a couple times before. Like, <laughs> get your foot away. <laughs> <laughs> your foot. Um, I would obviously try it out a couple of times as like nap times and stuff first, just to see like how it would notify me if he's crying stuff like that. Because you literally why. <laughs> <laughs> You literally cannot hear this room from in our room. Like one day he was like crying and I was just doing laundry so I was only up there for like 10 minutes. But I was like, goodness gracious, I didn't even hear him. So we'll see. But hopefully it's a good thing. We'll let you know. Are you in a match? Fat bellies? What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you were just pushing out your belly. She was kind of like this. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Where you used to be pregnant? I used to be pregnant. I can do this forever. <laughs> Bye. Alrighty. Well, sorry for the terrible lighting. It's literally being brought to you by my computer. But, um. Dylan told me to be quiet because Sutton's sleeping over there. But, it's almost at bedtime, so. Um. But yeah, I just wanted to end the vlog really quick. Um, we hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, it's just right below the video, just right down there. Little subscribe button, super easy. Just click it once and there you go. Now you get endless supply of happy and Dylan <laughs> and Sutton. Let's be real, that's why you guys subscribe is Sutton. Um, but we will see you guys on Saturday. Bye guys. I'm not just